be healthy.
welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand for our national anthem performed by the Porchester Sound. was that, ladies and gentlemen. One more round of applause for the Orchester Center. Hello, Ramley, and thank you for joining us for the 139th Porchester High School commencement ceremony. I am Luke Southerton, the principal of Porchester High School, and it's certainly exciting to be here with all of you tonight to celebrate this momentous occasion. I'd like to begin by thanking our high school faculty and staff for their dedication to our students and for all the hard work they put into organizing this graduation. Every year this is a tremendous task and you all perform it with great pride. Also, thank you Mr. Rubin, Mr. Lundy, Mr. Sapione, and all of the men who worked diligently to prepare the high school for our prestigious graduation ceremony. Thank you Dr. Enriquez, Dr. Combs, Dr. Carroll, Mr. Solano, Mr. Tolentino, and all of the directors and supervisors and, and principals and assistant principals for your support of the various programs and offerings at Fort Chester High School. To the Board of Education, Ms. Onofrio, Ms. Burke, Ms. Capisi, Mr. Ford, and Mr. Russo, thank you for working proudly to ensure that our children uh, have a rich experience in all of their schooling in Fort Chester. Finally, I'd like to personally congratulate Dr. Combs and Mr. Doreno on their retirement and wish them both the very best on their future endeavors. Thank you both for your leadership and mentorship of myself and countless others. 
Our family will certainly miss you. At this time, I'd like to ask our graduates and our community to join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the two of you. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for this ceremony, we're here to celebrate 325 Porchester High School graduates. And let us now begin with senior class co-president, Gwen Dominguez, to deliver her greetings to the graduating class of 2023. Welcome all to the Porchester High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. I'm immensely grateful for the opportunity to stand here tonight with my classmates, our families, mentors, friends, and supporters of all kinds to express my deep admiration of the education we have received at Porchester more specifically, the people who have made it so profound. To our teachers, counselors, advisors, administrators, and coaches, thank you for opening our minds by opening up your classrooms and hearts. You provided us with everything we've needed to succeed in school, from a reassuring wave in the hallway to advice on how to become better human beings. It is impossible to celebrate the success of us students tonight without also celebrating those who make our success possible. On behalf of the class of 2023, I express all my gratitude to the people who sacrifice continuously for our aspirations, our families. Your cheers from the stands and applause from the audience encouraged and motivated us to keep going and pursue what we love. We were able to thrive thanks to parents and advocates who invested not only embedding better learning conditions like less crowding on staircases, but the potential of our promising futures. We especially appreciate those who may not always be able to show us physical support, but show support to their children in different ways by working deliberately to provide us with access to opportunities as well as strong foundations for our dreams. I believe that the most valuable outcome of our education at Porchester has been what we learned from each other. When we were underclassmen, we were graciously led by upperclassmen we looked up to. As upperclassmen, we used the impact they've had on us to do the same. As for the class of 2023, some of us have known each other since preschool, and some of us played together on the Park Avenue playground over there. Some of us might have been on the same team for fifth grade field day, or maybe we played our instruments for the first time together at band night. Perhaps we open our first lockers next to each other in the sixth grade, or we could have been on a modified sports team together. Maybe we were in the same PC and DC tour bed room. We might have been seated in the same aisle at freshman orientation, or we were randomly assigned to endure the awkwardness of a Google Meet breakout room sophomore year. We possibly took our SAT in the same testing room junior year. We watched the sunrise, attended our last homecoming bonfire, and counted down the days until this very moment together. While there are so many people in this class that I never had the honor of getting to know, my hope is that we realize how connected we all are in this moment. We are connected by these universal experiences, the universe's decision to make us experience them together, and the distinctive worldviews we hold because of them. We've risen above stereotypes of inferiority. Tonight we prove those who diminish us and where we come from wrong. We all have unique stories to share, goals to accomplish, people to honor, change to foster, and a common history to connect us to this community. Some of us are the fourth generation to graduate from PCHS, and some of us are the first. We are artists, athletes, scholars, performers, workers, activists, but above all else, we are neighbors. Tonight is a celebration of our individuality, diversity, and ability to unite nonetheless. I'd like to end with a quote by author Ali Kandi, which to be completely transparent, I came across on TikTok, another example of how we will always be connected. The quote reads, growing apart doesn't change the fact that for a long time, we grew side by side. Our roots will always be tangled. 
As we continue to flourish, I hope our roots never untangle, because I have faith that they will allow us to grow and make positive progress, both in our own lives and the world around us. Thank you, Port Chester, and thank you, Class of 2023. Thank you, Gwen. Next, I'd like to introduce co-class president, Exaida Marin, to deliver her message to the class of 2020. Good evening, fellow graduates, friends, family, and faculty. Welcome to the Porchester High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. It's an honor to speak to you all today and celebrate this amazing milestone. I would first like to thank you for being here and supporting us not only today, but throughout our four years at PCHS. As a first generation graduate, I will be incorporating Spanish into my speech. Buenas tardes a todos. Es un honor para mí dirigir este saludo y para estar ante todos ustedes para celebrar este logro. En primer lugar, me gustaría agradecerles a todos por estar aquí y apoyarnos no solo hoy, sino durante nuestros cuatro años in Porchester High School. As I look over to my classmates, I see the people who have shaped me and helped me become the person I am today. Although some of us may have grown apart, our roots will always be connected and the memories we have made are unforgettable. Even if we aren't as present in each other's lives in the years to come, we will all carry a piece of each other into our future, into our future lives, which will help define who we are and who we become. Hoy marca el final de un capítulo, pero comienza uno nuevo. A medida que comenzamos a seguir nuestros propios caminos, no debemos olvidar de dónde venimos y qué hemos hecho para llegar a este punto. Todos debemos seguir trabajando duro para lograr todo lo que queremos. As I reflect back on the past 40 years at PCHS, I've realized that I am just a collection of all the people I've met and all of the experience I've made. It is with great pride and honor to say that the past four years have been some of the best years of my life. Although there were some difficult difficulties and obstacles to overcome, like having COVID cut our freshman year short, I wouldn't trade the time I've spent at PCHS for the world. Nunca hubiera pensado que daría este discurso tan pronto. Recuerdo claramente tener días de campo en la escuela primaria, conciertos de invierno en la escuela intermedia, conocer a algunos de ustedes por primera vez en sexto grado, luego bailar juntos en el baile de octavo grado y ahora estar aquí para graduarme después de experimentar algunos de nuestros últimos en este mismo campo como nuestra última noche de banda o nuestro último partido de fútbol. Aunque es un momento agridulce que refleja todo lo que hemos hecho, hoy no solo se trata de mirar hacia atrás, sino también de mirar hacia adelante. El futuro tiene infinitas posibilidades, así que persigue tus sueños y marca la diferencia en este mundo. All we've ever wanted was to grow up. We grew up in our time at PCHS was slowly ending as we waited for the bell to ring at the end of each day. We grew up reading books with pictures and move on to reading chapters. Now here we are closing this chapter of our lives and turning the page to start a new one. We didn't realize how fast we were growing up and how fast this day would come. We grew up joking about wanting graduation day to get here so we could start our next adventure and never fully realized how fast the senior year would fly by. Suddenly college applications were due, the seasons were beginning and ending, and senior festivities like prom were nearing, which indicated the end of our time at the Now I'm here standing before all of you, reflecting back on this journey, and I'm glad I had you guys by my side through it all. Aunque este capítulo de nuestras vidas se está cerrando, todavía hay nuevas personas por conocer y nuevas experiencias por vivir. Me gustaría decir que cada individuo aquí está destinado a alcanzar la grandeza y espero que tus sueños te lleven a una vida que te haga feliz. As our time comes to an end, I would like not to I would like to not only thank our friends and family for providing us with love and support throughout the past four years, but I would also like to thank my fellow classmates for making my time at PCHS an, an unforgettable experience. I wish you all the best, and I can't wait to see the amazing things you all do in the future. Finalmente, me gustaría dar las gracias a nuestros amigos y familiares por el amor y el apoyo incondicional. Eso no sería posible sin todos ustedes. 
Especialmente me gustaría dar las gracias a mi mamá que llegó sin nada y me lo dio todo. Gracias a ti y a Brian, mi hermano, por apoyarme siempre en todo lo que hago y por estar presente. Quiero hacerte saber que el diploma que recibo hoy también es tuyo. Sin ustedes dos, no estaría aquí hoy dando su discurso. And finally, congratulations, class of 2023. We did it. This is it. I'm so proud of all of us, and I'm excited to see what the future holds. Felicitaciones, class of 2023. Lo hicimos. Estoy muy orgullosa de todos nosotros, y estoy emocionada de ver lo que depara el futuro. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are here tonight to celebrate the class of 2020 and their many accomplishments spanning all the grades from kindergarten to now. Seniors, in the time from kindergarten to now, each of you have completed not only what is required of you to earn a New York State high school diploma, but so much more. You have filled your homes with joyful artwork, thrilled us all on the field and in the gym, and entertained us with music and theatrical performances. You've impressed us all with your growth as students and made us proud with the various acts of kindness performed. Additionally, some of you chose to challenge yourselves in various honors, EP, and or IB courses along the way. Some of you have become proficient in a second or even third language as well. And all of these experiences no matter which ones you've taken part in, have helped to shape who you are and you should be proud of yourselves. In these final moments of your time with us tonight, seniors, I would like to leave you with some final thoughts. Do not ever stop pursuing your dream. Do not ever let difficult circumstances stand in your way of making an impact. When it seems that an accomplishment when it seems that accomplishing something may be too difficult, pivot, adjust, ask for help, but do not ever give up. A way to success will always exist for those who have faith in themselves and work hard. And you've proven this to yourselves by completing what is required of you to be on this field tonight. Remember that as, remember that as high school students, you've navigated some of the greatest challenges history has ever seen, and you've persevered. It's your time now, Class 2023, to shine and make an impact. Further advancements in medicine, education, policy, and more are waiting for somebody to come up with them, and you are poised to create them. You only need to keep faith in yourself and once again, persevere. Vincent Van Gogh said, said it best when he said, if you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. Boys and girls, ignore the voices that try to tear you down and focus on painting your masterpiece. You have it within you. We've all seen it. We are so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations, class of 2023. Now to deliver her message to the class of 2023, 2023 is my, it is my pleasure to welcome to the podium the Porchester Rye Union Free School District Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Aurelia Enrique. Greetings. Knowing that I have limited time to address you today, I thought of the most important advice that I could possibly give my young self when I was graduating from high school. I thought of the lessons in today's times that I try still to instill in my own children, in particular my high school aged daughter, as she prepares for the adult world like you do. I stand before you at 40-something years of age, still very unsure of many things. But what I can tell you with 100% certainty is 
that you will have hardships, challenges, losses, and much adversity awaits you ahead. But there is one major aspect that you can control, and that is you and your response to a world that you have no control over. And while we cannot control how others will treat us, we can control how we choose to treat others. You see, self-mastery is the ultimate challenge for most people. If we can master ourselves, we can be a better service to others and to the world. I hope you will be inspired by the poem that I'm about to share and would join me in this challenge to face the worst in the world with the best of yourself. This poem, The Paradoxical Commandments, is by Dr. Kent Keith. It was written in 1968, and there is a similar poem found written on one of the walls in Mother Teresa's Homes for Children. These words challenge us to still choose love, to still choose light, to do good, to succeed, to be honest and frank, to help and give the world the best anyway. As the saying goes, do unto others what we want others to do unto us. I'm a strong believer in Gandhi's be the change you want to see in the world. The change in the world, however, must come first through the change in yourself. Paradoxal Commandments by Dr. Ken Keith. People are illogical, unreasonable, and self-centered. Love them anyway. If you do good, people will accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Do good anyway. If you are successful, you will win false friends and true enemies. Succeed anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Honesty and frankness may make you vulnerable. Be honest and frank anyway. The biggest men and women with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest of men and women with the smallest minds. Think big anyway. People favor underdogs, but follow top dogs. Fight for the underdogs anyway. What you spend years building may be destroyed overnight. Continue to build anyway. People really need help, but may attack you if you do help them. Help people anyway. Give the world the best you have, and maybe you'll get kicked in the teeth, but give the world the best you have anyway. You see, graduates, your protest, your response, your outrage, your fight is through your success. Keep building, keep going, keep rising, no matter what, do it anyway. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Enriquez. And now to give her greetings to the class of 2023 is Board of Education President, Ms. Chrissy Nopra. Greetings to the class of 2023. On behalf of the entire Board of Education, I want to congratulate you on your graduation from Porchester High School. As you graduate from Porchester High, I have just one simple request for you. Be kind. We are living in a world with so much hate and violence all around us. Every bit of positive energy that you contribute to the world makes it a better place for all of us. As you leave here today, you will each set off on your own path. 
You may not know exactly where that path is leading, or it may change along the way. But wherever your next journey takes you, remember that Portchester will always be your home. Congratulations to the class of 2023. We know that you will continue to make us proud. For that heartfelt message is an opera. Our next guest speaker is a young lady who was the captain of our girls varsity swim team for two years, guard captain for both the march, marching band and winter guard for two years. She's the president of the National English Honor Society, secretary of the Tri-M Music Honor Society, and a member of the National Honor Society U Alpha Theta and the Thespian Honor Society. In the fall, this young lady will be attending Syracuse University, where she earned the Whitman Leadership Scholarship and was accepted to the Renee Crown Honors Program. She plans to dual major in international relations and business management. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to introduce a member of the Ramley who strives to make the world around her a more joyful place the salutatorian of the class of 2023, Ms. Sophia Ortiz Heaney. Welcome, classmates, friends, family, and distinguished guests. As salutatorian, it's my honor to welcome you all to the class of 2023's graduation. Now, as the ceremony goes on, I want you to ponder a question that my sociology teacher, Mr. Kravitz, asked me. What is the one thing that we will remember about high school when all of the other memories fade away? At first, I had no idea to how to welcome you to our graduation or what to talk about. But on the last day of school, my friend said something to me that got me thinking. Well, at least we don't need to call ourselves a Ramily anymore. <laughs> Ramily. I used to wince at the sound of that word when it first started circulating around the school. It felt weird, forced, and cringy. Yet over my time here, I found myself using Ramily less and less ironically. It was cheesy, sure, but I started to see the true pro behind it from the experiences I have had, and I know the rest of you have also had. I've always been considered an overachiever. I was the kid, as you can tell, that did a million and one things, yet somehow still found time to do good in my classes. But in January this year, I reached my breaking point. The stress from academics, applying to colleges, and meeting the high expectations I had for myself just broke me down. It finally fell apart when my former English teacher, Mr. Martinez, asked if I was okay one day after school. Mr. Martinez, a teacher who is known to always be out the door by three or five, stayed an hour to help a student in need. He gave me comfort, advice, and guidance. He even ordered me a stress ball um, off of Amazon in the shape of a steamed dumpling. For the next couple of months, Martinez would continue to check in on me. And when I talked to my classmates, they all had similar stories to mine about how teachers and counselors went out of their way to make themselves feel heard and seen and make school feel like a safe place to grow from their mistakes into a better person. So when I think about what I'm going to remember from high school, I might think about hearing the cheap, 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 on the loudspeakers every morning this year. Or maybe that time that my mic turned on during sophomore band class, and I know a couple of you heard me sing Eleanor Rigby off key. I'm very sorry about that. Or maybe I might think about the time that my friends and I made a Pippa Pig cake for Mr. Guido, which somehow the frosting came out more salty than it did sweet. But I know that I will remember the people in the school that made us students feel not alone in this momentous time of growth and change. 
I will remember the teachers, guidance counselors, staff, and other students that made this, this school not just a building, but a home. And that's why I feel that it's right to call the school a Ramily, no matter how cringy it might be. So, for all the people who have been in high school, I hope that you've had a similar to experience to what I have had. To our families, thank you for supporting us students when we are outside of this building. We would have not made it this far without your love, support, and food. For our teachers and counselors, words cannot express how much I, I can thank you for the impacts you have had on us all. You made me believe that a teacher's job isn't just to teach subjects, but to teach compassion, kindness, forgiveness, and strength to students. To Mr. Durano, thank you for all 32 years you spent helping Porchester students grow and giving us the nudge we need to stay focused on graduating. You always know how to make us laugh when we have a bad day and entertain us with your love of sloths and whippings. I'm proud that we get to graduate with you. And to Raskin, don't pressure any more juniors into taking Cal PC. To the juniors in the audience, run. <laughs> to my friends, the ones that I've had since the beginning and the ones I've made along the way, thank you for teaching me what true friends are. Thank you for teaching me the importance of communication and honesty. I would not have survived these last four years without your love and support, and definitely a little homework along the way. And for my fellow graduates, thank yourselves. We've done it. We survived this chapter of our lives. Whether you did it mostly alone or needed a lot of support, I feel we can all agree on this. We've had good times, bad times, laugh times, cry times, stressed out times, and smile times. It hasn't been an easy journey, but the community around us made it bearable. So wherever you go in life, find your community. Find the people that love and support you unconditionally, that hug you at your worst and smile when you're at your best, because you are never alone in this world. So don't be afraid to have, ask for help when you need it. Graduates, I know one of our favorite mantras that got us through high school was the phrase, I'll do that tomorrow. But realize that there's no tomorrow for us, not on this field, not in this high school. We only have today left. So, like the best procrastinators do, let's make the most of the minute school time we have left. Touch your robes and cap. Hope it doesn't rain, but embrace the droplets if it does. And look at the faces of the loved ones, both on the field and in the bleachers. For this two or three hours or whatever it may be, this is our moment on our field with our family. Let's enjoy it one last time. Thank you. Excellent job. Very nice. Thank you, Sophia. Next. I'm very pleased to introduce a young man who's a violinist with the All-State Symphonic Orchestra and was an area All-State Orchestra assistant concertmaster. He is the president of the National Honor Society, vice president of the Triad Music Honor Society, a member of Mu Alpha Theta, and a member of the English Honor Society. Oh, and did I mention he's a National Merit Scholar as well? He will proudly be attending the Cornell University College of Engineering in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a member of our family who has wowed us all with his prowess on the violin, the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Mr. Benjamin Reyes. to the incoming seniors, uh, you should definitely take Cal PC, it's a fun class, Sorry. <laughs> and welcome Mr. Raskin. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, and fellow graduates, I am honored to be speaking in front of you as the valedictorian of the class of 2023. <clears throat> the only reason I became a valedictorian was to see if my parents would stop saying, 
then you should be more like the valedictorian. <laughs> First and foremost, on behalf of the graduating class, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the people who brought us here today. The people who, throughout the years, have shaped us into mature, kind, and hardworking individuals. Teachers, counselors, parents, administrators, and everyone behind the scenes who have provided us with a safe and learning environment. I want to thank the teachers who have put in so much time and effort into us, even on our worst days. Although not everyone likes assignments and tests, they are necessary to build character and prepare us for the future. Without you, we wouldn't have learned and we wouldn't be here today. Every graduate here probably has one or a few teachers that come to mind when thinking about teachers that have inspired them. The speech would be too long if I named every teacher who has had a profound impact on me. So there's Mr. Guido, who is an amazing chemistry teacher and lighting up the classroom with perfectly kind jokes. Ms. Nair, who taught music to new orchestra students, and Mr. Raskin, who taught my favorite calculus class. I'd like to extend a heartfelt appreciation to our dedicated and compassionate counselors who have played an invaluable role in guiding us through our high school journey. You have been the pillars of support, offering guidance, wisdom, and a listening ear whenever we needed it most. I would like to give a special shout out to my guidance counselor, Mrs. Pafaldo, whose dedication has helped me navigate high school and the college application process. There's no doubt that you have played a pivotal role in shaping my future. I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation to our parents and guardians, our first teachers. Your unwavering support and encouragement have been the cornerstone of our achievements. To my own chair's parents, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words in conveying the depth of my gratitude for your boundless love. I don't say it a lot, but I'm extremely grateful that I have such amazing parents who are incredibly supportive and will put 110% of their time and energy into their children. From driving me to school, violin lessons, and baseball games, to being the loudest poppers at my recitals, I truly cannot thank you enough. To all the teachers and parents who have worked so hard to bring us to this moment here today, please join me in a well-deserved applause. When I began crafting this speech last night, I had an epiphany. Attaining the highest GPA does not automatically translate into wisdom or the ability to deliver an exceptional speech. It merely reflects one's adeptness at not being the system, which requires a lot of hard work, and this is a requirement, a touch of social awkwardness. So, as I stand before this remarkable gathering of graduates, destined to become doctors, artists, lawyers, scientists, world leaders, professional ice cream tasters, entrepreneurs, the list goes on. And I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Today we celebrate the culmination of countless hours of hard work, sleepless nights, and yes, even the hours spent mastering the intricate art of procrastination. As a class of 2023, we've experienced a lot together. From the unprecedented circumstances that forced us into virtual classrooms during the first half of our high school years, to witnessing the tumultuous events unfolding in our world. Wars, unfortunate tragedies, and horrific shootings, we have faced it all. But in spite of all of that, we are still here today. I only mention the negatives to shine light on the resilience of our class. In the face of adversity, we have triumphed and achieved tremendous milestones. I take pride in every single graduate before me, including exceptional IB diploma students, the dedicated athletes who brought glory to our school, the talented musicians and artists who brought beauty to our lives, and all of those who contributed to the vibrant tapestry of our school community, such as members of honor societies and community service clubs. Each one of you has left an indelible mark 
on our collective journey, and together we have accomplished so much. Before we move forward into our exciting futures, I must confess one of the harsh realities of life. You can't copy my homework anymore. <laughs> but as we part ways and embark on our individual paths, let us use this day as a chance to reflect on our past few years and to decide who we want to be. I am sure most of us, including myself, don't have a perfect idea of our futures. The past four years have gone by so fast, but in the past few weeks, as the work flow has lightened, I realized that this is a perfect time for a shift, a new beginning, especially to those who have a rough four years. If you're sitting here today, graduates, you have proved that you possess the ability to redefine your future. Take this opportunity to embrace your unique experiences and challenges, what you've learned inside and outside the classroom, and let them propel you forward with the strength and determination. I would like to share a powerful quote with the graduates, one that resonates deeply with me. It comes from Viktor Frankl, a Holocaust survivor. Everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of human freedoms. To choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Today is a pivotal moment where we hold the responsibility to make our own choices and shape our futures. Our time to shine is now, and I have no doubt that each and every one of us has the potential to create a future that surpasses our wildest dreams. Thank you, and congratulations, Class of 2023. Great job, Benjamin, thank you. Finally, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our tonight's keynote speaker. He is an honored guest and is a lifelong member of, Port, of the Porchester community and a retired member of our Ramillet. He served in the United States Navy and has led the Be Be apologize, has led the Bethesda Baptist Church here in Porchester for 42 years. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Gerald Washington. This great village of Porchester, Louis Marino, who the president of the Board of Education, Mr. Nafio, to the uh, host principal of this momentous occasion, Mr. Lou Sutton, to all of the board members sit and guide this great school district. To the bedrock teachers who unselfishly pours out information day after day, week after week. To the guidance counselors who work out problems <laughs> that your children have that nobody knows about. To the custodians who keep the buildings so immaculate, we don't want to forget that. To everyone involved in this magnificent school district, thank you. I consider it an honor to stand before you to address you today. Make no mistake about it. It's been a dream that I've had for a long time. 
I salute and congratulate and wish uh, Mitchell Combs, Dr. Mitchell Combs, and Fort Dorello, who are retiring, two great, great scholars. Let's give them another hand. In the time that I have watching the skies, I want to be short but to the point. To the graduate students, if you can remember 2% of what I said, I'll walk away and be very happy. The late Dr. Albert Einstein said this, that imagination is greater than knowledge. I had a hard time dissecting this, but as I went on to in different experiences, I realized knowledge got you here. Imagination can tell you what value is waiting for you. It draws you a picture of what you know and you have learned. Please never forget that. Twelve years ago, hold on to the imagination. Twelve years ago, imagine that you entered a boat together. All of you are together in this boat. Hold that. I am a retired and from the United States Navy. I read was discharged as a third-class petty officer, third-class yeoman. I've experienced time in the ocean. One thing I want to point out that ties into the imagination of you. I've experienced and I've seen with my own two eyes 18 and 20 foot waves. I want to say to you, I always wondered why the ship never capsized. It would roll. 90 degrees one way and 90 degrees the other way. And the waves would come over. <laughs> the waves would come over the ship, but the ship would not capsize. In fact, Military ships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, battleships, they don't capsize. Why? Because underneath the ship, there's a beam that balances the ship so that it may roll back and forth, which is scary if you are on the ship but they never capsize. Now, in your experience, after 12 years of being on your imaginary boat together, you have encountered many waves. Not water, but you've encountered 
circumstances. From the kindergarten to the 12th grade. Let's start from the kindergarten. The first day your mother drops you off at school. I've been in the district for 30 or more years. I worked in the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school. I've seen children dropped off for their first day in school, and they cried, Mama, Mama. It takes them approximately five days to get adjusted. That's a way. It might have been you. That's a way. And when you get to the middle school, if you get out of elementary school, now that's another way. You have to get adjusted. No longer are you in one class. You move around. The bells ring. You go from class to class. And more is required of you to be punctual, be on time. That's a way. And you have to adjust to then you move to the high school. Now you're in the big league. Now that's when the rubber meets the road. Now you begin to see that you are responsible for certain tests and exams during your time in high school. So you're here today like I was on the ship in the mail. You've had ways. You rocked and you rolled, but you didn't capsize. Let's look at some of the, let's look at some of the uh, ways. What about over 19? That was a category five. Wait. Why? The schools had to close temporarily to adjust. The government had to find a vaccine. You're wearing masks. You don't know when the school's going to open. But you still did not have some. Sorry, I'm sorry. You bet 90 no, degrees. No, but you did not. And so the ship has finally reached its depth, depth depot. You're here. You're moments away from receiving what you have dreamed about. That piece of paper called a diploma. My friends, my students, my beloved, this is a great moment for you. So, what are you saying, Reverend? Uh, you went through a lot of examples I'm saying this to you. Never forget your support. As in the Navy, that little beam that kept the ship from capsizing, well, who do we give thanks to? Let's start with your parents. Ed Sullivan, the late Ed Sullivan, who went to Port Chester High School, he said this, you are the toast of the town. Parents, you are the toast of the town. You are the unsung heroes that every day you have to deal 
with your children. You earned this debt. What about your teachers? Never forget. I remember years ago, the last day of school, this is what you would hear. No more pencils, no more books, no more teachers, dirty looks. I'm here to say to you that the teachers go over and beyond teaching. They almost cry when you don't achieve. Thank you. Go back to your school. You know what really makes a teacher feel good? When you don't forget something that they taught you, try it and see the expression on their faces. That's being grateful. And thank the school district. I want to tell you this. Fort Chester is a great village. And I say that with confidence. It's a great village. Be proud of where you graduated from. You don't hesitate to say, oh, well, I, I graduated from where? Fort Chester High School. You realize Fort Chester is known as the gateway to New England. From what I understand by the historical society, it was founded this building it's been changed 1929 and the first graduates were 1933 we're bedrock you should be proud my friends my students may i say to you this be proud of where you graduate Get an attitude of, I want to be the best. I'm not going to settle for where I am now. I want to be the best. Now, soccer is a great sport. Have you ever heard of Ronaldo? From Portugal? Or Messi? From Argentina? Have you ever heard in basketball of Stephon Curry or the other great ones, LeBron, Michael Jordan, whoever exceeded, they all were different in what positions they played. But one thing they had in common, they wanted to win. They wanted to win. Attitude is a state of mind. Peter Mark, he's the best. He's the best. He's the best. And as I close, let me say this. In football, you have pep rallies for an oncoming game. Why do you have these pep rallies? To remind yourself that you have to bring your A game. <laughs> Let me suggest the model, motto for all of you. We are Porchester graduates, and no one can be prouder. And if you do not hear us, we'll say it a little louder. And if you do not hear us, we'll say it a little loud. Good luck. God bless you. Stay well.
Thank you, Reverend Washington. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Washington. Thank you, all of our speakers tonight. Seniors, it's my pleasure to now begin the presentation of the Bulmas. Assisting us this evening, and reading the names of the graduates of the class of 2023 will be the members of the high school faculty, Ms. Yomira Carreras, Mr. Carlos Gomez, Ms. Estrella Marziani, Ms. Marta Sendoya, and Ms. Dina Tobias. The following diploma will be presented by Principal Luke Sutherland. Valedictorian, Benjamin Tyler Reyes. <laughs> Salutatorian, Sophia Ortiz Heaney. <laughs> Senior Class President, Gwen Joan Ismelda Dominguez. Nixeda Damaris Marin Samano. <laughs> the following diplomas will be presented by Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Aurelia Enrique. <laughs> Natalia Aguilar Villasenor. <laughs> Frankie Dotel Alejo. Litsi Yahaira Alvarez. <laughs> Lindsay Buitran. <laughs> Jin Nan Chow. <laughs> Dario Castro. <laughs> Shana M. Chirian. Skylar Dow. Yelani Diaz. Christian Michael Gagnon. Augustine Gonzalez. Shirley Diana Guzman Montano. Edgar Hernandez Perez. <laughs> Suera Iqbal. <laughs> Sofia Kamensky. <laughs> Laura Victoria Lopez. <laughs> Mario A. Martinez Borca. Christopher Mendoza. Jesse A. Montelesa. Jeshua F. Oledo. Jenna Nicole Provenzano. Michelle Ramos Aragon. Jack P. Richardson. <laughs> Heidi Rivera. <laughs> Yaneli Carolina Sanchez Novoa. <laughs> Callie Quinn Sullivan. Celine Tavares. <laughs> Cynthia Tigre. <laughs> Jean Matthews Vitamia. <laughs> Amy Zhang. <laughs> the following diplomas will be presented 
by Assistant Superintendent Dr. Mitchell Cohn. Excuse me, Deputy Assistant Superintendent. Leonardo R. Abdon. Valeria Rochelle Adrover Castellano. Melanie M. Aguilar. Brianna Aguilera Morales. Eric Joel Alarcón. Sofia Alarcón. John Anthony Alonzo. Ashley Alvarado. Levi Alvarado Lazaro. Diana Alvarez. Katie Giselle Alvarez. Miguel Alvarez. Santiago Alvarez. Janelli Melissa Amaya. Vanessa Amesquita. Maximilian Arango. Daniel Argudo. Jefferson Steven Arrueta. Leslie Michelle Avalos Lopez. Andy Adrian Ayabaca. Daisy P. Ayabaca. Andrew Santiago Aznaran. Sean Bobber. Justin Malcolm Barnett. Josh Victor Baragan. Merli Joanny Barrios Gramajo. Fatima Bautista Ceja. David Bayona. Jomaris Bazora. Joshua Bermeo Rodriguez. John Bonilla. Sofia Borda. Giselle Carolina Borja. Kylie Yadira Borja. Thomas Borsoni. Jocelyn Bravo. Hannah A. Cabrera. Nathan Cabrera. Edin Caxire. Christopher Cadenas Martinez. Miriam Callejas. Julio Cesar Campos.
Lisbeth Campos. The following diplomas will be presented by Mr. Philip Solano. Andy Carvajal. Juana M. Cartamo. Julio Cesar Cartamo. Diego Cardenas. Mia Caranza. Rochelle Carvajal. Leticia Carvalho. Charles M. Castillo. Ronnie Castillo. Franklin Castillo Zuniga. Evan Seja. Victor Seja. Emily Cervantes. Wilmer Vicente Alescalmo. Venancio Chavaria. Hayley Judith Chavarria. Leslie Chavez. Chepe Chavez Dasso. Ritz M. Chia. Zorioni Chia. Brian Cuyaguaso. Diana Guadalupe Coco. Humberto Coy. Katie Jasmine Cruz Moran. Mariana Cuevas Mogro. Ariana Fernanda de Silva. Michael DiCrescenzo. John Thomas DeFer. Edgar, Edgar Delgado. Alex Pedro, David Pedro. Ashley Diaz. The following diplomas Danny Aaron Uchimasa. Alejandro Espinosa Aisha Sherling Estrada Gabriela Fajardo
Isabella Marie Farias. Jada Kiara Feliciano. Jose Manuel Feliciano. Christopher Flores. Gabriel Alejandro Flores. José Luis Flores Jr. Zayden I. Funes Flamenco. Janaya L. Gator. Michelle Daniela Galarza. Anthony Garcia. Aurelio Miguel García. Chelsea A. García. Sherilyn J. García. Irma García. Michelle García. Nicolás García. Valeria Jacqueline García. Paulina Yamilet García Aguilera. Rosmin Gabriela García Chigirín. Ana Belén García Salcedo. Brianna Gaspar. Joel Tibagis. Tibagis. Maya Angelo Perkins. Alondra Gomez. Brandon Gonzalez. Marilyn Gonzalez Montas. Jonathan I. Gramajo Sánchez. Mayra S. Brez. Arturo J. Grimaldo Campos. Isabel Guanuche, Rubén Gudino, Ulises Gudino, Mirella Gudino Valencia, Kimberly Ann Gutiérrez Castelo. Rochelle Guzmán Bueno. Demetrius Haddock. Joseph Hernandez. Catherine.
Hernandez. Jonathan Alexis Hernandez Mejia. Candy Carrera. Nicholas Hightower, Elton Whiting, Brian Wortero, David C. Highland, Vivian Juliana Jackham Jamie Jappa Calvin Jean Charles Pedro León Takuri Kaya Lewis Tian Hao Ling Joseph Jaboka Daniela Lopez Jamile Lopez Juliana Elizabeth Lopez Ricardo Lopez Juliana! Delcy Lopez Perdomo. Angelina Marrero. Elana Marti.
Evelyn N. Martínez. Isabel Martínez. Fabiola Martínez Cruz Miguel Ángel Martínez Reyes Dylan Macy Isabel Maria Matus. <laughs> Kaylin Joyce Maturo. <laughs> Jackson Marat. Sebastián Menaes Alexis A. Mendoza Nafis Mendoza Juliana Mercado <laughs> Natalie Mercado <laughs> Riley Thomas Mercera Merino Lapanco. Vale. Kaylen Mestas. Michael Minchaca Gámez. Brian Minchala. Jonathan Minchala Karina Mojica Marvin Alexander Molina Derek Montero Luz Montufar <laughs> Jessica Mora Vega <laughs> Brian Mosso <laughs> Fernanda Natareno Jimmy A. Naula Cristian Neves Kevin Novoa de 
Becerra. Nicolás J. Núñez. Reyes 
Garcia. Michael S. Tuba Ayabaca. 
have been waiting for when their graduation will become official. Now, by the power vested in me, by the State of New York, by the Board of Regents and State Department of Education in Albany, and by the Board of Education of the Porchester Rye Union Free School District, I now pronounce you graduates of Porchester High School.
graduation of course just nice.